welcome to all here in the session of mathematics this is the 10th episode for the chapter limit and continuity in today's episode we'll discuss existence of limit that is the limit of any function whether exist or not that means what before going to the existence of limit you should know what is left hand limit and what is right hand limit suppose one function is there f of x f of x is a function be a function define in the interval in the interval a minus h to a plus h what is h a is a real number where a is a real number and h is a positive quantity very small positive quantity you can write here is a very small positive number however small you can think the value of h is however small you can think that means very small number 0.0000000001 suppose that means very small number okay however small you can think the value of h would be likewise suppose if you write limit x tends to a plus that means what suppose here one number line a is here a plus means what if you write x tends to a that means what that means the value of x approaches a from the right hand side of a or it may be approaches a from the left hand side of a if the value of x approaches a from the right hand side of a then it is called right hand limit right hand limit that means this one is right hand limit why since the value of x approaches a from the right hand side of a a plus h somewhere here that means if you add h to a then where it will lie it will lie right hand side of a that's why a plus h is here okay would you follow that means here if you have to ask limit x tends to a plus f of x this one is called right hand limit and this one can be written as limit h is very small number that is tends to 0 and x should be replaced by a plus h a plus x tends to a plus means how much should be added to a that means only very small number should be added to a and that one should be replaced by x would you follow or not that means limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h should be replaced by limit x tends to a plus f of x this is called right hand limit suppose this value is l what is l l is a real number l is a real number okay now if you will ask what is lhl left hand limit left hand limit means suppose x tends to a and the value of x approaching a from the left hand side of a that means a minus h if you subtract one very small number from a then it will lie at the left hand side of a and it will approaches to a that's why this one is called left hand limit and limit this one can be written as limit x tends to a minus f of x can be written as limit h tends to 0 however small you can think the value of h is however small you can think then x should be replaced by a minus h and if this one exists and that value is l that means here rhl is equal to l and lhl is equal to l if lhl is equal to rhl and is equal to l then you can say the limit of the function the limit of the function 
f of x exists f of x exists and this limiting value limit x tends to a f of x is equal to l is equal to lhl which is equal to rhl okay this is called the existence of limit that means in which case left hand limit is equal to right hand limit then only you can say the limit of the function fx is exist otherwise does not exist if lhl not equal to rhl then the limit of the function does not exist now i'll take some example okay so please make it a note now i'll take some example okay so please make it a note first now suppose you have to ask what is the limit of fx at x is equal to 1 whether exist or not that means here you see when the value of x greater than 0 but less than equal to 1 that means left hand limit 1 means suppose here in the number line 1 is here 1 minus means x is less than 1 that is LHL here fx is equal to how much at the LHL less than 1 less than when the value of x is less than 1 fx value is 5x minus 4 5x minus 4 and when greater than 1 x is greater than 1 fx is equal to here that is 4x cube minus 3x this is the value of fx okay this one is right hand limit and this one is left hand limit function so first you write what is the value of left hand limit limit x tends to 1 minus f of x f of x you can write or you can write limit x tends to 1 minus f of x should be replaced by when x tends to less than 1 1 minus means what the value of x is less than 1 something should be subtracted from 1 that means the value of x should be less than 1 less than when less than 1 the value of x is less than 1 then the value of fx is equal to 5x minus 4 so here 5x minus 4 fx should be replaced by 5x minus 4 now limit x should be replaced by 1 minus how much 1 minus very small number that is 1 minus h what is h h is very small number that is tends to 0 minus 4 keep it as same now if you multiply when h tends to 0 h tends to 0 this is nothing but the 515 minus 4 this is 0 5 h h tends to 0 5 h is 0 so 5 minus 4 is 1 now what about rhl limit x tends to 1 plus f of x this is nothing but the limit x tends to 1 plus 1 plus means what greater than 1 when the value of x is greater than 1 x is greater than 1 then the value of fx is 4x cube minus 3x okay now x should be replaced by 1 plus h so limit h tends to 0 4 into 1 plus h whole cube minus 3 whole into 1 plus h okay okay so here if we we'll replace h is equal to 0 that means 4 into 1 cube that is 4 minus 3 into 1 h is 0 minus 3 4 minus 3 how much that is 1 here lhl is equal to 1 rhl is also 1 so lhl is equal to rhl that implies limit x tends to 1 fx exist and limit x tends to 1 fx exist and that value is equal to 1 this is the limit limit x tends to 1 fx is equal to 1 when fx is equal to 5x minus 4 and 4x cube minus 3x according to these two conditions respectively okay would you follow or not first you have to find lhl according to this condition when x is less than 1 fx should be taken this one okay fx should be taken this one and x should be replaced by 1 minus h would you follow then rhl limit x tends to 1 plus when x is greater than 1 fx should be taken this one 4x cube minus 3x x should be replaced by 1 plus h okay 
now h tends to 0 means 1 plus h whole q so when h 0 then the value of rhl is also 1 as well as lhl is equal to 1 so the limit extends to 1 fx is equal to 1 limit exists and the limit is 1 okay that's your conclusion next we will take another example different types of example okay so now we'll take one example you see you have to check whether the limit extends to 0 x y mod x exists or not that means you have to check LHL and RHL. All of you know that LHL. What is LHL? LHL is equal to limit x tends to a minus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h. What is h? h is very small positive number. Very small positive number. Okay. Now, what about RHL? You have to check whether LHL is equal to RHL or not. That means limit x tends to a plus f of x if there, then x should be replaced by h tends to 0 f of a plus h. What about h? x should be replaced by a plus h. Here a minus given means x should be replaced by a minus h. What is h? h is very small number nearest to 0. Here also x should be replaced by a plus h since a plus given right hand limit. So a plus h, x should be replaced by a plus h and what is h? h is tends to 0. If LHL is equal to RHL then limit exists, limit fx exists. Okay. If LHL not equal to RHL, then limit fx does not exist. That means you have to check this one. So you see, now first suppose LHL. LHL means left hand limit. Limit x tends to, here a is 0, 0 minus. Left hand means 0 minus. So the value of x should be approaching 0 from the left hand side of 0. That's why x tends to 0 minus. x by mod x. Here fx is equal to x by mod x. Okay. Here fx is equal to x by mod x. Again limit x should be replaced by. Here x should be replaced by how much? A minus h. A minus h here is 0. So x should be replaced by 0 minus h. 0 minus h by 0 minus h modulus. What is h? h is very small number. However small you can think. So this is nothing but the limit h tends to 0, 0 minus h is minus h, by 0 minus h is minus h, modulus of minus h is h, h h cancel, so what is the value, that is minus 1, so left hand limit of this function is minus 1, now we have to evaluate the right hand limit, what is the right hand limit, so right hand limit means what, limit x tends to a plus, here a is 0, so limit x tends to 0 plus. What is fx? xy modulus x. That means limit h tends to how much? 0. Why h? h is very small number. So x should be replaced by x should be replaced by how much? a plus h. Here a is 0. So 0 plus h by 0 plus h modulus. Okay. This is nothing but the limit h tends to 0. 0 plus h means h by mod h. Mod h, the value of mod h is h. h is cancelled, then we have left with 1. Here you see, left hand limit is equal to minus 1, right hand limit is equal to 1. Hence, you should write left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. That implies the limit, the limit of the function of the function fx is equal to how much x by mod x does not exist does not exist so we should mention here okay do you follow so first you have to find left hand limit then right hand limit if they are equal then you can say limit exists otherwise limit does not exist now we'll take another example 
so all of you keep it in your memory that left hand limit should be calculated how is it limit x tends to a minus f of x which is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h and the right hand limit is equal to limit x tends to a plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h okay now we will take another example that is example 2 here x is greater than 1 you see the example 2 is given fx is equal to 1 plus x square if 0 is less than equal to x less than equal to 1 and the value of fx is equal to 2 minus x if x is greater than 1 that means what this means that you have to check at at x is equal to 1 you have to check whether the limit of the function fx this function exist at x is equal to 1 or not that means the value of a is equal to 1 you see this means that when the value of x is greater than equal to 0 but less than 1 that means here suppose here 0 and here 1 when the value of x is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 1 close interval okay fx the value of fx is equal to how much 1 plus x square if the value of x is greater than 1 greater than 1 means open interval up to infinity okay then fx is equal to how much 2 minus x okay would you follow or not so this one is given so now we have to find lhl so limit x tends to what is the value of a you have to check where at x is equal to 1 that means the value of a is 1 so 1 minus would you follow or not x tends to a minus lhl lhl means what limit x tends to a minus f of x is equal to limit f of a minus h x should be replaced by a minus h here what is h h is tends to 0 okay so here h is here here a is 1 so 1 minus so here limit x tends to 1 minus f of x what do you mean by f of x f of x is 1 minus means less than 1 1 minus means less than 1 so the value of f of x should be which one 1 plus x square because this one is the left hand limit and this one is the right hand limit in case of left hand limit the value of f of x is equal to 1 plus x square okay so limit here h tends to 0 x should be replaced by 1 minus h 1 plus 1 minus h whole square so x should be replaced by 1 minus h since 1 minus left hand limit so this is nothing but the limit h tends to 0 1 plus 1 minus h whole square 1 plus h square minus 2h. So 1 plus 1 how much? 2. So 2 h square minus 2h. When h tends to 0. h tends to 0 means this one 0, this one 0. We have left with how much? 2. Okay. Now we have to find right hand limit. Right hand limit means limit x tends to a plus here a is 1, 1 plus, 1 plus means greater than 1, 1 plus means greater than 1. What is the value of fx? The value of fx is 2 minus x. You should not put here, when x tends to 1 greater than 1, you should not put this one. You should put, the fx should be replaced by 2 minus x, when the value of x is greater than 1, that is right hand limit. x tends to 1 plus means greater than 1. So fx should be replaced by 2 minus x so this is nothing but the this is nothing but the limit h tends to 0 2 minus x 2 minus x should be replaced by 1 plus h 1 plus h when h tends to 0 h tends to 0 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 here you see left hand limit is equal to 2 right hand limit is equal to 1 so LHL LHL is not equal to 
RHL that implies limit x tends to 1 fx does not exist. At x is equal to 1. Okay. Now we will take another example where the limit exists. Okay. So please make it a note first. Now suppose you have to ask what is the limit of fx at x is equal to 1 whether exist or not. That means here you see when the value of x greater than 0 but less than equal to 1 that means left hand limit. 1 means suppose here in the number line 1 is here. 1 minus means x is less than 1 that is LHL. Here f x is equal to how much at the LHL less than 1? Less than when the value of x is less than 1 f x value is 5 x minus 4. 5 x minus 4. And when greater than 1 x is greater than 1 f x is equal to here that is 4 x cube minus 3 x. This is the value of f x. Okay. This one is right hand limit and this one is left hand limit function. So first you write what is the value of left hand limit? Limit x tends to 1 minus f of x. f of x you can write or you can write limit x tends to 1 minus f of x should be replaced by when x tends to less than 1. 1 minus means what? The value of x is less than 1. Something should be subtracted from 1. That means the value of x should be less than 1. Less than when less than 1 the value of x is less than 1 then the value of fx is equal to 5x minus 4. So here 5x minus 4. fx should be replaced by 5x minus 4. Now limit x should be replaced by 1 minus how much? 1 minus very small number that is 1 minus h. What is h? h is very small number that is tends to 0 minus 4. Keep it as same. Now if you multiply when h tends to 0, h tends to 0, this is nothing but the 515 minus 4. This is 0, 5h. H. h tends to 0, 5h is 0. So 5 minus 4 is 1. Now what about RHL? Limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. This is nothing but the limit x tends to 1 plus. 1 plus means what? Greater than 1. When the value of x is greater than 1, x is greater than 1, then the value of fx is 4x cube minus 3x. Okay. Now x should be replaced by 1 plus h. So limit h tends to 0. 4 into 1 plus h whole cube minus 3 whole into 1 plus h. Okay. Okay, so here if we replace h is equal to 0 that means 4 into 1 cube that is 4 minus 3 into 1 h is 0 minus 3 4 minus 3 how much that is 1 here LHL is equal to 1 RHL is also 1. So LHL is equal to RHL that implies limit x tends to 1 fx exist and limit x tends to 1 fx exists and that value is equal to 1. This is the limit. Limit x tends to 1 fx is equal to 1 when fx is equal to 5x minus 4 and 4x cube minus 3x according to these two conditions respectively. Okay. Would you follow or not? First you have to find LHL according to this condition when x is less than 1 fx should be taken this one. Okay, fx should be taken this one and x should be replaced by 1 minus h. Would you follow? Then RHL limit x tends to 1 plus when x is greater than 1, fx should be taken this one. 4x cube minus 3x, x should be replaced by 1 plus h. Okay. Now h tends to 0 means 1 plus h whole cube. So when h 0, then the value of RHL is also 1 as well as LHL is equal to 1. So the limit x tends to 1, fx is equal to 1. Limit exists and the limit is 1. Okay, that's your conclusion.